Hello and welcome to this brief overview of Curious Turtles Film Wash for After Effects Volume 5. Commercial Color Grades Made Easy. Now the whole idea behind the Film Wash Color Effects series is to create a whole load of very interesting and unique looks in a straightforward and simple way. And let's take a look at just how easy that process actually is. Now the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to install the Film Wash presets into the correct position. So on Mac, we simply take our Film Wash Volume 5 folder and copy it over into the Presets folder in whatever version of Adobe After Effects you, uh, you happen to be running. And it's a case of simply dragging and copying into place. And on Windows, the operation is exactly the same, except in this case, in the After Effects folder, we have a, a shortcut into that there where we can just drag and drop. The film wash preset folder. Then the next time you open up After Effects, if you go into the effects and presets window, you can see them happily installed right here. Now the 45 different uh, film washes are separated out into three different groups. We have the film stock homage, which are interpretations of popular film stocks. We have the cross color, which are a few more sort of creative looks there. And we have cross processing colors here for some of the more extreme color changes. So let's have a look at how easy it is to, uh, to bring these effects up. So let's just come into my timeline here and we'll turn all of the effects that we have off here already and we'll just shy those away. So all we're left now is with our main original footage. Now, unlike a lot of uh, color correcting effects, film wash doesn't work best when applied to the layer itself. Um, the real strength of it is we apply it to adjustment layers. So, uh, so I added a new uh, adjustment layer up here and let's come and we'll find a, uh, an interesting look for, for this here. Uh, I'll just take anyone here. I'll take the Fuji FP100C. And that loads it all up for us over here. And we've got a number of different effects now applied into our effects controls. Now, of course, this is completely customizable, but the ones that are designed to be changed are the ones with the asterisk next to them. So generally speaking, that's mix back original and desaturate. Now, what mix back original does is if we come to our slider here, the closer we get to 100, the less of the effect is being applied. And if we want a stronger effect, we can take that down to zero. So 100 is with no effect and zero is with the total effect. Now by default most of the effects are set to 50% uh, when we start so you can see that something's happening but it's not you know too strong for uh, for the image. We also have a uh, desaturate and the more we bring this up obviously the uh, the more desaturated it gets. Now this can be useful if we have uh, some of the effects which bring the colors up a little bit too strongly for you. You like the, uh, the overall look, but you wanna knock the saturation back a bit. You can just do that easily with this slider down here. Let's take that back down to zero. So here's the original footage, and here it is with the effect put on. Now one of the things you'll notice with the film stock uh, homage uh, looks. These aren't designed to give a, a sort of huge color shift across the, the whole image and make everything warmer or colder. We're much more interested in about getting the subtleties of the, uh, of the different film stocks and how they react. So we really are, you know, trying to, to achieve some interesting film, film looks. So I'll add another adjustment layer here and let's come up with our Fuji Velvia here. And this is a lot more saturated than the last one was. And we can just bring that down to make that even stronger. Crunch it up even more. and Maybe knock some of the saturation back out of it there. So now we have a before and an after look. And I generally like to, uh, to name my adjustment layers as we go forward because one of the uh, great advantages of having everything set out as adjustment layers is that we can start to build up um, layers upon themselves. 
So I'm gonna go and add new adjustment layer here. And let's pop into some of the uh, cross color ones here. Now these are much more stylistic. So um, if we add something like a cold coffee over the top there, you can see that these really are transforming our colors and we're getting a nice, lovely vintage look going over now. And because we're working on adjustment layers across the whole sequence here, it's just a sequence that I imported in from, uh, from Premiere. Because we're working on a whole sequence here, once we've got the look that we want going across, it's just a case of rendering out our images. Now, generally speaking, FilmWash is designed to be the last element that you add in. So it's expecting that your footage is, um, is all sort of balanced up and has the, uh, the sort of most of the uh, color adjustments done to it before you apply uh, the film wash over the top. But at any point we can go into individual clips and say we want to have this one a little bit uh, lighter, we can just come in and add a curve or any other color correction just to that clip. And say we wanted it a little bit, uh, little bit cooler and a touch of blue into that as well. So now we've got that fitting in a bit better with the rest of the sequence. So let's take a quick look at the before. Grab a still of that. And there's the after. So let's come up to our cold coffee and we can make that even stronger an effect as well if we want to really get a lovely vintage look coming on there. Very nice, very straightforward. And the real power is, is in the blending of these different ones uh, together. Because it's there you can truly sort of get completely unique looks out of the uh, out of the building blocks here. So in terms of usage, that really is as simple as it gets. If we want to add, you know, more looks up to it as well, we can do just that just by adding new adjustment layers and adjusting those to how we want them to be. And if we don't like uh, what we've got there, we can either undo and try and find a new one. Add a bit of fieriness to it there. And let's mix that back again so it's not quite as strong. Cool. And that's a really interesting little look there. Before and after, before and after. So let's take a look at a quick look at what it's doing to uh, to the image itself. Now, one of the things we worked very hard on is to try to keep uh, the skin tones uh, looking looking good, uh, especially with the film stock homage things here. So we add a uh, a new adjustment layer up here, and we'll add a Sensio one hundred here. we can check out what it's doing to the, uh, to the skin tones. That's looking good. We'll look through a couple of these ones as well. Have a look at the Polaroid. Even at full blast, we're still keeping nice skin tones going in here. So the, uh, the real aim is to make these as usable as possible. There's, there's no use having, you know, hundreds of different uh, effects and presets if they end up turning your footage to, uh, to garbage. You know, here we're really about trying to create the most interesting looks we can possible whilst maintaining the integrity of the footage. These have all been designed to work in the real world on real life footage. So let's, uh, let's name that one. That's the uh, Kodak E100GX. Um, We'll take an, a little look now at the cross-processing ones here. These are generally a little bit stronger. So we take a look at our chocolate 
Holgeroid here. We're again in the in the stylistic area. And we'll take a look at our creamy cross. We can mix that back in a little bit as well. The film wash cross processing have been designed to be quite strong, so we can easily mix those back in or out according to taste. But again, the idea is keeping all of these things usable across a whole different range of footage. In the next tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we can use film wash in a real life situation. And also we'll be looking at the film wash film grain too.